<laughs> all right, now don't judge me. Don't judge me at all. This was left here. It's not mine, but I, I can't stand waste in this world. I probably shouldn't do this on a video. That's different. Happy, happy Sunday fun day. Holy shit. Yeah. I don't like waste though, so I probably will finish that. Happy Sunday fun day. Uh, it's 5 p.m. I'm taking the rest of the evening to myself. Um, oh, I'm going to keep busy with little odds and ends, but I'm going to I'm going to make it fun. All right, in the hustle and bustle, the uh, spring and summer thus fall. Uh, I've severely neglected uh, uh, the farm itself. It just happens. Happy Sunday fun day. Joke's on me. I keep drinking it. <clears throat> Everything is going exceptional here. Uh, real quick before any comments fly, and I'll be in agreement with you. This is too excessively dirty for me. I'm not into wasting my time or straw. I am not going to bed the outsides uh, right now because we have a magnificent, supposed to be beautiful, heavy rainstorm tonight. Starts at midnight and supposed to last all the way till 9 o'clock in the morning. We'll see. We better get it or... Uh, that's about it. Okay, this is the second round of 10 Holstein heifers. If you follow the channel, you know what I've got brewing here. Uh, they've they've done very, very well. Uh, we will take a look at the, uh, the ones that were weaned off, uh, the ones that were raised first. Uh, you can see on ear tags, date of birth, uh, 620. These all come from the same farm, all 20 of them. Uh, 620, and then there's a, uh, uh, what are you, 619? I'm a guaranteed solid 60-day uh, milk replacer program. I've tried to cheapen that before. Uh, I do believe that there's a difference. It grows on you a little bit. Jeez. Uh, so time is creeping up, and I'm going to kind of show you what I'm going to do. Okay. Come on, let's put a show on here for the folks, huh? I'm going to leave him alone because he's he's starting a scour, a little scour problem. And uh, tomorrow morning he's going to get doctored if it's the same. Come on. Come on, buddy. Ah, uh, they got a belly full of warm milk. This is the only one with a little bit of white on him. Uh... The other ones are just, they're, they're jet black. I have never seen a Holstein Black Angus Cross as jet black as these are. <clears throat> not to say you're not a good looking boy. <laughs> you little turd. These crosses, there's only four of them. I gotta get one more. Uh, these come from the, uh, the great Reval family that uh, takes Remington on lease from October to December and uh, quite naturally what I get is some of his offspring and you know, bull calves very happy with what's going on here uh, my plan for these uh, I can't invest a lot of time into them what I plan on doing is you know uh, properly raising them here uh, they're gonna be weaned off after that strict 60-day period as I spoke of well tended to in one form or another and they're probably going to hit a uh, and they're going to be light but they're going to make somebody very very happy um, they will probably hit a very late September early October uh, feeder sale uh, that's not what I usually like doing with you know that small of animal but uh, there, there's somebody out there that's right up their alley Let's see what happens so yeah, they're doing real good. Uh, we'll have a crew that's going to be weaned off first and about a week later, uh, some others. 
I don't have time this evening, folks, to do a very nice, dedicated, prolific cow yard video with all the calves, the paperwork, tell you who's who. I got some things a little bit brewing here a little bit later. I, I choose not to do it tonight. I did want to put on a small little, uh, here's the farm video, though. Calves are doing real good. I'm not a fan of those big cans at all. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? All right, we're here. <coughs> Might as well be here first. Uh, <laughs> that's what happens when you feed top of the line alfalfa. Uh, they got a bale here at about 3.30. And uh, they'll finish up their grain. But uh, these are my kept back uh, beef heifer replacements. There's 17 of them. Uh, very, very slow start to the AI process here with them. Uh, thus far, we've only had uh, six of them that have been AI'd. Uh, and the joke is on me. I live and breathe by the calendar, dates, times, and everything else. I'm sure that there's many other people watching this that do the same and have to. Well, sometimes I get a little too dedicated to my calendar. I did this year. Week, week and a half. Boy, that stuff will make you burp. Week, week and a half before uh, we started AIing the heifer lot, which wasn't long ago. Uh, there was more heat activity out here than I could count. But in the busyness of everything and my calendar, I let them be. Very slow start. I'm going to tell you something right now. Uh, they're all important. There are two red heifers in there. Um, at the moment, they are both AI'd, those two red heifers. Um, the bull Ruger, out of fortitude, is coming straight in the yard and I'm also gonna I'm gonna enlighten you on that in just a little bit you got Ruger and Savage up there Savage is gonna be introduced to the cow lot here in probably one week uh, we'll see I really want 3006 Remington to uh, control and run the herd by himself right now but uh, Savage is gonna join him soon um, Ruger I always want to keep calling him Fortitude. Um, he's obviously, he's hitting this heifer lot that's going to stay separated for a, uh, a certain amount of time. And then they're all going to be joined together. Now, quite obviously, when the heifer lot heads over here to the cows and they all mingle together, I do need to pull Remington 3006 from the herd. And he is done on this farm, which uh, breaks my heart, but that's just the way it works sometimes. Um, he does have some daughters in here. <coughs> I'm going to change things up a little bit. You know, I started a program where I have spring sales now of uh, bread heifers, open heifers, and uh, bulls. Well, I took a fine little pencil to it, which, you know, you can't do on everything. But... Uh, I believe I'm going to stay away from bread heifer sales. Um, number one, that's, and I, I can't understand this, but that's just me. Uh, the open heifer sales went phenomenally better than the bread heifer sales. Uh, so that's number one. You got to cater to what people are wanting. Number two, you know, I, I ran the fine line pencil to it. And uh, keeping, you know, bred heifers for that long, the actual, you know, AI and of it and everything else, uh, the amount of profit is just uh, uh, almost nil. Um, I'm very happy with what happened this past year, but uh, offering bred heifers, I think next year is not going to happen. It's going to be open heifers and uh, all with good AI genetic backgrounds and uh, bull sales. 
And uh, these turkeys, the, these, I have never seen, <sighs> get out of there. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. <sighs> Constant problem. Goes in here, lays down, shit and pisses all over the gosh damn place. Uh, this is a load of uh, somewhat higher moisture alfalfa, small square bale form, obviously. That's what they've been getting. That's what they're going to continue to get. This wagon's going to stay intact because <laughs> I don't think I'm going to need it again this year. There's there's five others. All right, this is the original group, and they I know that they're dirty. I have never seen a group of pigs in my entire life like these. Never. Um, they'd rather lay down in their muck than on a nice fresh bedding, bedding of straw. And uh, it's not going to be long and they're going to be out of here. Um, I'm kind of running out of room. <laughs> I'm going to take a big chance and a gamble. And these are probably going to go in the bull lot, the bull yard. Because of course it's going to be emptied here sooner than later. We just we just talked about that, and then of course that group is going to be in here. And uh, I'm going to take this as it comes, and uh, we'll go from there. You are a bunch of pigs. They're doing real well though. Size, their growth, structure, condition. I'm, uh, I'm fairly, fairly happy with what's going on here. Now, they are getting fed very well. They get a five-gallon five full pail of grain morning and night, and then uh, uh, and always a replenishment of, uh, well, now uh, a pure form of alfalfa hay. And the never-ending, always-needed water. So, what the hell am I going to do with these Holsteins during the winter? You may ask. <laughs> Some of this shit I just make up as I go, folks. <laughs> oh, Lord. I need a vacation. <sighs> ah, I'm on vacation right now. So that's my two cents on bread heifers, open heifers. I'm making that change. Um, uh, the numbers behind it prove to make that change. I'm running a small business here. It's 8% though. That'll sneak up and bite you. Yeah, probably take a bathtub full of those though bite me I usually have all the doors open everything like that but uh, I'm preparing for <clears throat> a great amount of rain tonight okay this winter this late fall excuse me this barn's gonna be chuck full and I'm gonna be happy as hell to see it I have got eight young bulls out there. If anybody can see that right there, that's a bad paddle. Bad paddle I need to replace. I've been replacing a lot of them here in the last six, seven, eight, nine months. You can see that one's brand new. I'm out of new ones. I need to order uh, 10 or 12 more. Uh, those pot liquors are $38 a piece. You, can you believe that crap? Anyway, it doesn't matter. This winter... Right now, I've got eight kept back bulls. Um, and you're soon to see them uh, up close and personal. Two, four, six, eight. Bulls are going to be here. I am going to pick out, come wean off time, and that's many moons away. I'm going to pick out five of the more ladder born beef calves that could use a little TLC and everything else all winter long. Five will be in here. I'm going to pick out the next five that fit that bill, but just a little bit better. 
and they're going to go on what we call go into the uh, to the lean to. Um, this pen is a real pain in the ass in the winter time, but <clears throat> you use what you got. It just takes a little bit of extra work, a little bit of extra effort. Big hairy deal. All right, all the Holsteins are going in here. <laughs> Uh, in an effort to continue to put a diaper on those Holsteins, Holsteins are different. For good health, structure, condition, and growth, and everything else, I want to get them out of the harsh, harsh winter element. Now, if they were older, no problem. Well, they're not. So, I'm going to order... You know, when we put cows in here and stuff on the lock stalls, tie downs, whatever the hell you want to call them, it's always been a, a simple chain. I believe I'm going to order uh, 20 of the uh, the wraparound uh, strap type ordeals. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words here. And those 20 Holsteins are going to be lined up in here. There's going to be 10 on this side. There's going to be 10 on this side. That will really help keep this barn warm. Um, you know, we're talking about a lot of animals now. 8, 28, 33. Which also means that this barn, by God, must be cleaned with the barn cleaner run every two days. Which uh, is fine. Um, <laughs> we used to do it every day. <clears throat> I think that's the best bet. Um, there's going to be a lot of extra work involved with these Holsteins and putting them in here. But I think it'll be well worth it. And uh, we'll go from there. That's it. Uh, not much going on in here, folks. Just kind of a... I need to put a nice big makeover in here. I, I don't really know what the hell that means. But uh, I need to do some cleanup. I have got to change that big sprocket out to the uh, manure spreader. Um, excuse me, the barn cleaner. That, that has to chain, be changed out significantly bad. And I've got a brand new chain for it as well. <clears throat> um, I'm going to do a big cleanup job in here this fall, late fall. And uh, get some stuff out of here. Put some stuff away. Just kind of get some things in a little bit better condition. And uh, not to say there's anything wrong here. But just, uh, well, let's just call it a cleanup job. And uh, yeah. I gotta be honest with you. I, I uh, <clears throat> I'm kind of looking forward to a uh, to a full barn this winter. Um, I'm looking very forward to opening up the milk house door. Now there's a heater. There's a wall heater in the milk house that runs 24/7. Well, except for last year when it decided to shut off when it was uh, about 32 below zero and all my lines busted you know that's part of living the dream folks <laughs> i'm getting very excited to open up this side of the milk host door at you know 5 5 15 5 20 if i'm feeling lazy a.m in the morning and the barn being a tad bit warm it's not going to be anything like having a full bunch of you know milk cows ready to go but uh looking forward to it a very back paddock that I think you can see on this cheesy video. I'm going to call that SOB decimated. There's a few of them here that the cows are going to hit in about another week. I think I covered that this morning on the video I made that I haven't posted yet. Folks, that's it. Uh, the calendar is truly turning very swiftly. Uh, there's a lot of changes coming, uh, maybe not changes, but definitely movements that are coming. Um, 
we're almost, it almost feels like we're in preparation mode. Here I am sweating. We're almost in preparation mode for fall to come. And then of course, what comes after fall? And we're not there just yet, but uh, some, some thinking and some planning needs to be put into this. Uh, something as simple as the collars. Uh, I, I, God only knows in this day and age if I can even get them or how long it's going to be to be shipped to me. It's simple things like that that aren't so damn simple that uh, just start preparing for. And uh, go from there. I'm babbling on now. Hope everybody's doing okay. I hope you've had a nice weekend, nice week to come. Um, everything's going pretty fair here. Uh, I'm not going to keep uh, crying in my soup about this rain that we need, but I'm going to tell you something right now. I got some major decisions and some major uh, things to line up. <clears throat> and I have a plan. If we do not get this heavy rain tonight, because if we do not... If the forecast future outlook stands true, the next seven or eight days we have is drier than a popcorn you-know-what with full sun and hot. So, uh, see what happens. Sunday, fun day. I'm not going to worry about it today. <laughs> oh, God bless America. I got to get going. Hope everybody is well. Uh, hope you liked the cheesy little video. I know I know a lot of you are asking about the barnyard, the cow yard, the calves. I'll have my paperwork with me. I just, uh, I need a, I need a better moment than I, than I have now. And uh, we're going to talk to you sooner or later.